Hey guys, welcome back. So a fairly quick comparison between the iFootage Wild Bull that I just reviewed and the Manfrotto M Pro 535, which I've had for a while now. Both of them very premium tripods, both of them very, very nice and uh, expensive too. So there are uh, quite a few differences. The size, obviously this one's uh, only about five foot, this one's six something and uh, both carbon fiber. The uh, Wild Bull has some uh, screws on the sides here, whereas the Manfrotto doesn't, but I think some Manfrotto versions do have those screws for adding accessories. This one was 450 pounds and I was totally willing to pay that. I think I've seen it as low as 300 pounds. This one, at the moment, the carbon fiber version is about 650 pounds on eBay. The uh, leg locks, this one's better quality, made of metal. The one from Manfrotto, is plastic. It works fine out of the box, but a little too easy to open. So you just have to tighten them with the little tool that's included. And the connections here, I had to tighten as well. This one, I tried to tighten them, but I couldn't, I couldn't get them tight enough. This one, the legs hold where, where they are better. And that means that because they hold well, it doesn't need a floor spreader. With this one with the floor spreader connected, it's got about a, the same amount of sort of holding strength and staying power, I would guess I would call it, as this one without having to have a floor spreader. And that just means that it's much easier and nicer to work with without a floor spreader. The feet are fine on both of them. This one's got um, nice wide uh, feet there with, with this thing is removable, but very difficult to remove and even more difficult to put back on. I've never had to use bikes. Um, then these feet surprisingly grip better than that. Uh, at least, you know, I've only tested a comparison on this floor, but th this ball, which has spikes as well, you, you turn the ball and the spike comes out. So that ball actually grips better um, onto the floor. And this one wants to slide a little more. It's fine, it's, it's not a big issue. And so uh, strength-wise, which is gonna be the big thing here, there's, there's a small improvement on the Manfrotto. With the Manfrotto, I can, you know, twisting with quite a little force, I can get it to move a tiny bit. This one, twisting with a little force, I can get it to move a tiny bit. I would say maybe a little better on the Manfrotto. Both fine, both, uh, this one has both long and short versions. This one just seems to have one version. I prefer the iFootage one, but I'm, I'd be fine with either of them. Both of them are strong and stuff. Uh, this one's a little easier to work with. A uh, little, you know, th this, this thing spins easier. Another important thing, of course, is the weight. The Manfrotto is a little under 2.5 kilograms, while the iFootage, even though it's lower, it's a little over three kilograms. So not a big difference, but considering the height of the Manfrotto, there's definitely a win there. Now, with regards to how low they'll go, Manfrotto doesn't win that, but it's not a huge amount off. And the Manfrotto is a tiny bit more stable once it's on the ground, uh, you know, low down like this. There is a little bit of an improvement in stability. This one doesn't move. And this one doesn't move, but if I press down fairly hard, then it's able to sort of flex downwards a tiny bit. Um, not a big issue, but yeah, a little win for the Manfrotto there. And the Manfrotto does have several places where you can lock it in place like that. But you don't have to use those if you've uh, locked these down more tightly, then you can really just leave it at the top position and then just place it wherever you like. Now the folded size of the Manfrotto is noticeably smaller, but the iFootage comes with uh, an included bag, which is really nice quality and the Manfrotto doesn't come with any. You could buy one like that for the Manfrotto, a decent quality one like this, I guess maybe 50 pounds or so. Um, and then obviously there's cheap ones for like 10, 20 pounds as well. Those are my thoughts about how these two compare. I hope you found this useful. For me, it's gonna be the Manfrotto, but yeah, uh, very happy with both of them. Fantastic tripods and, uh, you know, just really well made with the exception of that floor spreader. So um, thanks for watching. Hope you find this useful and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Visit my channel for lots more awesome filmmaking and photography videos like lighting techniques, DIY projects, behind the scenes tutorials, cameras, lenses, adapters, shoulder rigs, stabilizers, flashes, LEDs, microphones, bags, straps, studio backgrounds, tripods, float heads, sliders, multi-tools, and lots more cool stuff.